Now, I don't know why, but lately I've had perch on my mind. And the last video I did was a comparison between real pile worms and fake pile worms. Today, I wanted to come out and try these fake sand crabs versus real sand crabs, but I honestly don't have too much confidence in sand crabs going for perch. I know they work, but I think Berkeley Gulp sandworms are gonna work a lot better. And what I think is gonna work even better than Berkeley Gulp sandworms is this frozen shrimp. Frozen shrimp and Berkeley Gulp sandworms, those are gonna be the two baits that catch the most fish, I think, today. So instead of using my eight foot power stick by Offshore Angler, today I'm gonna to be using my eight foot six Akuma SST rod. It's a salmon steelhead trout rod and you'll often find people use steelhead rods when they go for a perch because they can fish light tackle with it. The perch don't get too big. It's a hell of a fight and it's really fun to catch these perch with this type of rod. But for now, I'm just gonna go out and try to get some sand crabs and test out the sand crab versus the fake sand crab. All right, got my sand crab. So I'm just gonna put the real one on the hook right through the back like this and one of the Berkeley gulps. gonna hook it one time. Hook tips exposed, ready to go. Now I don't think I'm gonna fish this very long. I just wanna test it out, maybe three or four casts. Cause if I don't catch any fish, I'm gonna switch up to the, to the sandworm real fast and shrimp. But just giving this a try right now. It's been a couple casts. I want to just go go with the sandworm because I know for sure that if there's fish here, they're gonna bite on that. All right, now I've got the Berkeley Gulp sandworm on the bottom hook, Berkeley Gulp sand crab on the top hook. Getting a lot of bites, but no hookups yet. There's a fish finally. little barred surf perch on the sandworm. I think that's where all these fish are gonna come from. All right, well, I'm not even gonna use this sand crab, this artificial sand crab anymore. I don't have very much confidence in it at all. I think the real test, and what I honestly want to find out the most, is if this shrimp is gonna outperform this Berkeley Gulp. I feel like it will, honestly. Shrimp is known as one of the best baits for a surf perch, and with these small little hooks, all I'm going to do is cut off the tail like that. Now, this is the real test right here. Shrimp versus Berkeley Gulp Sandworm. Starting off, zero, zero. All right, now I've got my shrimp on the top hook, Berkeley Gulp Sandworm on the bottom hook. I might switch up positions later, but I feel a lot more confident in, in this shrimp than the, Berk than the sand, uh, sand crab. So I think I cast it just over that trough. Now I need to bring it back so it's right in there. By the way, a trough is like a deep channel that flows parallel to shore and it can flow perpendicular also, but it's a little bit deeper and a lot of current flows there. That's where uh, these perch and if there's striped bass out here, that's where they'll hit. Getting a bite. That one's a better size, a little bit bigger than the other one. On the sandworm again. All right, now officially it's one to zero sandworm against the shrimp. I've got a one and a half ounce weight on here and I'm just doing a very slow retrieve. Sometimes I'll stop for 30 seconds, maybe even a minute. If I don't feel anything, I'll just retrieve it just a little bit more, leave it out there. So you work a lot of ground when you're using a Carolina rig like this. Now if you do have a heavy rod, you know, with 30 pound test, mono or braid or whatever, you could still fish like this. It's just not going to be as fun. You're not going to feel the fight not going to pull drag, you're not going to have to play it at all, but you could catch fish like that. But this is the more fun way, more exciting way to catch these perch. There's a bite. Oh, there's a nice one. Yeah, there's a nice one on here. Oh, I think I lost him. Dang, I think he came off. Okay, I'm going to leave the tail on like that so it kind of, so it has a little bit more movement in the water. All right, boom, that's just where I got that last bite. Let's see if I can get him again. There's a bite. Nibbling, nibbling. Oh, no wonder I had a fish on here. <laughs> so small I could barely feel it, even on the steelhead rod. 
No bites on the shrimp yet. Two fish on the Berkeley Gulp sandworms. I'm really surprised. I thought shrimp would do a lot better. Maybe Berkeley Gulp, that's the way to go for all types of perch fishing. Shrimp is usually a guaranteed bet on, on perch. There's a bite. There's a fish. Ooh, a little bit bigger one. Maybe the big fish are biting on the, on the shrimp. I don't know. This one's a little bit bigger, it feels like. Still not, not nothing that I would want to keep, though. Man. Gotta swallow that hook. Shoot. Well, he's bleeding out. I'm gonna keep this one, even though he's so small. He just swallowed the hook, what can you do? All right, let's switch it up. Take this shrimp off the hook, which has not even a nibble on it. Gonna throw the sandworm here on the top, which has caught me three fish already. It's getting tore up, but I think it's still got some life in it. That's how they look. One gulp on top, one shrimp on the bottom. Shouldn't take long to get a bite right here. Right in this trough and rip current where everything meets. All this bait and all these sand crabs being washed up. Just gotta find the fish first. There's a bite. I think I got him on there. Yep. I've got a feeling he's on the bottom position. Yeah, he bit on the shrimp. Wow, he bit on the shrimp. And it's a little bit bigger. She's heavy. And she's got babies too. You can tell by full stomach right here, full of babies. So, huh, that's interesting. Berkeley gulp did not, Berkeley gulp caught the smaller fish, more frequent, but, but the shrimp caught the bigger one. Might be the position. My little nibble, little nibble nibble. Looks like I got that bite on the shrimp on the bottom. It really must be the position of the hook that's the main factor. Another nice thing about these Berkeley gulps is that they are biodegradable. So even though I don't recommend tossing them, tossing them out, if you do lose them, it's not like it's gonna pollute the, the water too much. There's a fish on here. No idea where it is on the hook. All right, well, this one took the sandworm. It took the sandworm, but you can see it's a lot smaller. Pop right out. All right, little guy, get on out of here. I think that's four on the sandworm, one on the on the shrimp, but the shrimp caught the biggest fish by far. Oh, a little bit bigger fish this time. Not a monster, but probably the second biggest of the day. Oh, that's why I got a double. Seems like they're all about this size today. Nice one on the Berkeley Gulp. I think that's five to two now. I gotta say, perch are one of the most abundant fish that you'll find on the West Coast. It's a really great fish to learn how to fish with. Great for beginners. And this Carolina rig, simple setup. This time I'm using a Carolina rig with a 1.5 ounce weight bead here, a swivel here connected to 20 pound fluorocarbon. And my main line is 12 pound. The reason why I'm using a heavier pound leader is because if you only fish with a 10 or a 12 pound leader, after about half an hour to an hour of fishing, it gets all tangled up. A little bit thicker line is gonna keep your leader a lot more straight. Almost any beach you go to, they'll have these, shirt, these uh, perch. So if you wanna get into perch fishing, just follow this little Carolina rig, or you could do a high low rig too, they'll bite on that. But shrimp or Berkeley gulp seems to be working best. All right, I cast it out a little bit farther this time. Let's see if the fish are farther out, the bigger fish. Yeah, they might be farther out. This one feels a lot bigger, unless it's another double. Oh yeah, this one's nice. Wow, that guy's full of babies. Or I should say, she's full of babies. Look how full that stomach is. Now if she wasn't pregnant, I would keep her. She's probably got about 30, 40, 48 babies in here. You can see the tail starting to come out, but I'm gonna get her off this hook and release her. I don't want to squeeze her, so I'm just gonna hold her like this. Bit on the shrimp. Biggest fish have come on the shrimp. See, look, her babies are starting to come out, but let me get her back in the water. There she goes. Well, I think I'm gonna call it for the day, and I think the winner 
again is Berkeley gulp sandworms. Even though the shrimp caught the bigger fish, Berkeley gulp caught way more fish. And it could just be coincidence that the shrimp caught the bigger ones. I don't know for sure. We'll have to test it out again maybe. But a couple things that I'll change next time. Next time I won't have two hooks. I'll just have one hook on the bottom. It seemed like the vast majority of hookups came from that bottom bite. Another thing, I might have a slightly shorter leader. A long leader like this, I think it's a little bit more likely that you'll get a little more knots and twists. So maybe a one and a half to two foot leader. But uh, yeah, it's pretty fun fishing like this. Light tackle, Carolina rig, go get yourself some perch. If there are perch on the beach, they well bite on that sandworm.